I'm a brick, baby boy, concrete, little nigga. Yeah, I rapping all that shit, I'm still a street, little nigga. Got more shots than a gym, you wanna beat, little nigga. I'm who all they hoes like they wanna be me, nigga. Diamonds look just like the static on the TV, nigga. Alright, so before we get into this video, I just wanna give you guys a background, cause this is about to be very, very confusing. So, this was supposed to just be my prep and pack with me for New York video, but things went very very left as soon as i got to virginia this was supposed to be a two in one trip kind of thing so i was supposed to fly to virginia stay a couple days fly to new york stay a couple days come back to virginia stay a couple days go home as i'm filming this i'm still in virginia but um i'm just gonna give a quick background so basically ever since the second i landed in virginia everything went wrong everything just kept going wrong like this has actually been probably one of the worst trips of my life like i've just been in the biggest funk i just want to i have actually had a mental breakdown and i'm just ready to go but we're not going to get too much into that because that's like personal okay cool we get to new york we get to the hotel the hotel has piss in the toilet stains on the sheets it's just filthy it's disgusting like it wasn't cleaned it wasn't anything we left hotels i had to come up in my pocket with almost a thousand dollars for a new hotel unexpectedly and they didn't give us like our full refund back but I, we got something i guess and new york just wasn't really my vibe we still kind of somewhat enjoyed ourselves but it just wasn't it just wasn't for me that's kind of what i wanted to let y'all know before we get into this um also i didn't show any maintenance of my hair in my lashes because i actually hated how they came out so that's also kind of why my mood was blown from the very beginning because y'all know once your hair is ugly your mood is just like yeah anyway that's what i wanted to say before we start this video so we're gonna start on the prep and pack portion and then like i was supposed to start a new video but i never did so if you hear that part just excuse it this is just all in one new york virginia prep and pack all in one because i barely got any footage from anything because of how left everything went so yeah enjoy good morning i am so excited today today is such a good day Guess what today is? It's a nail day. I haven't had my nails done in like three weeks. I have been thugging. If y'all know me, you know I stay with a good set. So, but this video is actually prep with me for New York City. Me and my bestie girl are going to New York on Wednesday. But I'm starting my prep today on Thursday, which is super early. Yeah, so I'm getting my hair redone. I'm getting another wig. Literally another deep wave wig. It's just going to be a lot longer. Yeah, we are going to New York for the first time. I have never been to New York. And everybody thinks that's so crazy that I've never been to New York. But if y'all don't know, um, one of my goals before 25, 26 is to have been to every single state in the United States. I'm 21. So far, I've been to, I think this will make 16 states. That's one of my goals. I really want to see every state before 25, 26. And then after 25, 26, then we can start working on them countries. But right now, I need to get the states out of the way. But I'm about to go to my nail appointment. I want to show y'all. I am I literally still don't know what I want. I have two options. One is pink. This is one set. I know it kind of doesn't look like it. But like me and pink are slowly starting to drift away. Like I really know it doesn't. It doesn't look like it. But me and pink are slowly starting to drift away. I don't know what it is. But these nails are so cute. But I don't know. So this is the first option. And I'm keeping it basic. I don't want to do too much. I'm really in my minimalist era. So it's these pink like 3D Frenchies. Or try something new. Which is these almond nails. Y'all know the almond nails is trending. Um, I'm about to put on my sweats. I have some leggings on. But it's actually freezing outside. So I'm putting my pretty little thing sweats over my, uh, over my leggings. So I won't freeze half to death. But I don't know y'all. I really want. I might do the almond just to like switch it up. You know new year trying to find a new style yeah so today is nail day tomorrow is lash day and then the day after that which is saturday is pack 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 a lot of road running to do these next couple days so i'm just gonna bring you guys along with me and yeah so i will meet you guys there can i get a small white bark iced coffee and can you add two pumps of liquid sugar that'll be all thank you y'all i had time i have 10 minutes I had time to stop at Dunshin. I started getting my bands up in the mansion. I was listening to a book. I took my wide lens off because last time I had it on when I was, uh, my skin is giving. Last time I was filming and I had the wide angle ends when I was getting my nails done, it kept falling over because the lens is so heavy and my camera is not that heavy and the tripod cannot keep it up. I get a like many Barbados. Losing more friends every day. I'm okay though. Money got niggas thinking I chase. Why are you making it so complicated? I can buy you a new ass to say that. I might shed a tear when this acrylic touched my nail. I 
with y'all it's been like a cool hour and i have been stressing i have been stressing i'm gonna give y'all an update but i want to show y'all my nails this is them they look so good y'all i am obsessed new shape alert fire and get into the jewelry i got a new apple watch band linked to amazon storefront um my van cleef dupe linked in under shop my fence finds i need to put some rings on so i can really give but so i'm at my nail appointment like yeah girl how much is it she tell me how much it is i'm like okay i'm about to cash up you Cash app don't work. Cash app gives me a message and lets me know, hey, your bank declined this transaction. Why? For $60? For 60 bucks? Like, I understand if I was spending some bank, but why would you decline my transaction for $60? I'm like, okay, girl, can I just um, Apple Pay you? Because Cash App ain't working. Okay, Apple Pay. You know, confirm with the side button. Your bank declined this transaction. Again. I said, okay. Try again. Decline. I try one more again. Decline. I'm like, okay, this is actually embarrassing. I'm like, y'all got an ATM in here or something, right? First of all, I didn't even try with the ATM. My, my nails, I couldn't get, It was just, anyway. So now I come home, I'm like, girl, just send me a quick 70 real quick. Send me a quick 70 so I can pay this lady because I don't know what the hell is going on. So I get to call my bank. He was like, yeah, it looks like there's no money in here. I said, no money? No money. He said, it looks like there's no money in here. Like, in my account. No money. You, you got to be playing with me. Like, so I'm trying to, I'm, I'm about to go off because I'm like, what, what the hell you mean? It's no money. He, and he just kept repeating stuff. It's no money. Okay. I hung up on him. Call again. And it was like, yeah, I can't help you. I'm going to have to send you over to member services. I'm like, oh, Lord, he done reported fraud on my account or something. I call member services. Member services tell me it's a, it's a 35 minute wait to get on the phone with somebody. So I'm like, okay, you know what, just call me back. So I, I set up the call back. Lady called me back. And I'm like, yeah, girl, this is what's going on. I just don't understand. She was like, okay, yeah, it's more than enough funds in here. I said, yeah, exactly. And he told me I had no funds. He told me I had zero funds. So she was like, just give me a second. I'm gonna put you on hold. She put me on hold, she come back. She was like, you know what? Our system went down about an hour ago. How long was this? This is the wrong phone, this ain't the one. I did it 58 minutes ago. She was like, oh, our system went down, try again. So I go to cash out my mama to give her her money back. My word. Why, but my thing is, why would you tell me I have no money? I kept checking my bank. I said, it's money in here. I'm, am I tripping or what's, what's really going on? Oh, it's money in here. Like, what is he talking about? I even moved some from my savings to my check. And even though it was more than enough, I even moved some around. Because I, be, I couldn't be going crazy. So, he done stressed me out for the day. He done stressed me out for the day. But apparently the system went down. My car back working. I don't even want to use it no more. I don't even want to use it no more. Like, y'all just y'all just scared me half to death. But I have schoolwork, because as you guys know, I'm a college student again. So I have schoolwork to do. I have a video to edit. I have stuff to do today. I want to get everything done before I go. So that's what I'm be working on for today. But I just want to show y'all my nails. So cute, so cute, so cute. Um, yeah, my nails take eight. I mean, when doesn't she, but... Good morning. But um, I have no maintenance today. Today was supposed to be my lashes. But it snowed super bad last night. It froze, it's covered. My last appointment is 30 minutes away, so y'all know I'm not driving. If it was like a cool 10 right up the street or something, count me in. But 
No, so I text a girl from my hometown and I asked her if she had to squeeze in. She told me to come Monday and I fly in Sunday, so that's perfect. I'm gonna get my hair done Monday and my lashes done. I mean, we're gonna pack tonight or tomorrow. I need to go to Target and get like all my minis because I don't have a few, stuff like that. We're gonna do everything last minute tomorrow, but today it is a priority to get all my schoolwork done. I have two more assignments and then get this video I'm working on done. I'm working on Ooh, it's a K5 out there. Hey, girl. I'm working on my college vlog right now. I want to finish it and then hop right into schoolwork, finish those two assignments, and be done. Literally, I'm so glad I dropped my two classes because I don't have another assignment to do until next Saturday. Like, literally, all my stuff is due on Saturday and Sunday. So if I do it, you know, right before, boom, everything is due Saturday or Sunday. So that's perfect. That's what's on today's agenda. I don't know if I'm going to check in at all anymore, if I'll be packing tonight. But I just wanted to update y'all on no last appointment today. I'll check in when it's time to check in. Um, tell them, hey, y'all, welcome, welcome back. Hi. No, say, hey, welcome, welcome back. Hey, welcome, welcome back, idiots. <laughs> That's not funny. Do it again. Anyways, y'all, uh, good morning. It's the next day of vacation prep. I fly out tomorrow. Yeah. Not for New York, but yeah. Um, I explained everything to y'all already. About to go to Dunkin', Target, and the hair store. I need to pick up some travel minis, some things to mm -hmm. pack. So that's what we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to give y'all an intro for the day and I will meet y'all at the stores. Hey y'all, I'm in Target. I made a list of everything I need. I got my coat on funny, don't mind me, but for my travel essentials, I'm gonna show y'all. So I made a list of what to pack, my appointments, and what I need from Target and stuff. So I need a travel dev soap. I'm gonna get of sensitive skin because yeah I need a travel toothbrush and a holder I'm gonna get this clear one I usually do pink but y'all know I'm kind of not really a pink girl what's this one crest clean mint 99 cent I get this one what else did I say a body wash and I need a soap holder I get clear and, wash. and yes it's that deep yeah. oh. I'm gonna put this in a card. My mama done ran away. The travel dust soap. Travel bar holder. I still need the toothbrush. Travel toothpaste. Travel body wash. I usually do this one. Strawberry. I might just do, yeah. I'm gonna get this one right here. Oh. Y'all keep running off. I'm looking for y'all. And then I need the toothbrush. Let me, let me just look and make sure there's nothing else I need in this area. Nothing else. I got my CeraVe. This is the one I, I use when I travel. This is not my daily, but this is the travel size they got. Tylenol, Advil. I probably do need some Advil. Headaches be on the thou. Water wipes. I, need, I do need some more of these, actually. Water wipes, and then I think that's it, yeah. I need to go get the toothbrush. We need to go down this aisle right here. I need the, the 99 cent toothbrushes, the Target brand. That's the ones I travel with. But they not over here. Oh, here we go. These my travel toothbrushes. I keep two at all times, so yeah. I need a jewelry organizer for my jewelry, like a travel size one. And I need an umbrella, cause the weather in New York, it's literally gonna rain the whole time we're there. So an umbrella and a jewelry travel size thingy so I can put all my jewelry in, if I could find one and then that's it so once i get to those sections i'll show y'all we got duncan they had to remake my drink because it was not right like my mama drink is so light and it just looks so good and mine had looked like creek water <laughs> it's so cold can y'all see my breath i can we're headed to the hair store and in the grocery store then we're going back home then i'm gonna get in my own car because i'm riding passenger princess today then we get in my own car and go get my eyebrows waxed i don't know if y'all could see but like the growth it's crazy. I don't know if y'all know my eyebrows is tattooed, but my hair grows downward instead of in the direction of my eyebrows. So I be needing waxes every now and again. So I'm gonna get my eyebrows waxed, and then go back home, wash clothes, pack, and do all that last minute stuff. So we are heading to the hair store. I don't think I need anything from the hair store. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna bring y'all along. If I see something, I'll show y'all. If not, not, but yeah. I'm back from Target, the hair store, the grocery store. 
all that. Um, I need to go get my eyebrows waxed, but we'll do that after. I'm gonna give y'all a quick Target haul. The only thing I need left is a black coat, but I don't think I'm gonna get that here. I'll probably get that in Virginia. I found the jewelry organizer. It's this like pink holographic one. It's actually really cute. They had black, but it wasn't as big. This was 20 bucks. But it actually come in clutch because I'm going to keep reusing it when I travel. That's what it looks like on the inside. Place for your rings, bracelets, all that. Whatever you want to put in there. It has a lot of space. That's the top part. Yeah, I know I'm trying to get in my jewelry era. So I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying? For earrings. But I don't know what this is for. I guess whatever you want it to be. I got a regular black umbrella because like I told you, it's going to be rain. And let me check the weather again. So as y'all see wednesday thursday friday rain saturday um no rain just cloudy no no sun though so then the rest of the stuff i bought y'all pretty much seen i have the two pack of toothbrushes a new toothbrush holder i get a new one every time i travel i don't know if that's not necessary you could just like clean it out but they're like a dollar so um yes i got this new uh soap holder um i don't know i just like Switching them out. I don't like to keep the same one, especially because they be traveling and the bags locked away. I don't know. Water wipes. Keep these in my carry-on at all times. Dove sensitive skin bar soap, Crest um, toothpaste, travel size, and Olay body wash travel size. That is all I got from Target. Like I told you, all I need left is a black coat, but. I don't think I'm going to get that while I'm here because I literally leave tomorrow. I'm about to go ahead and throw my laundry in the washing machine. So I do have a couple things that I need to take that are in my dirty clothes. So I'm about to wash a load and then hurry up, head out, get my eyebrows waxed. And yeah, I'll probably talk to y'all once I'm um, getting these brows done because they need it. Push your feet. Yeah, push your feet. Turn me up. Come me up, uh -huh. in the panic, in my peace. Push your feet. Cop no drama for my beat. We don't want no peace. Now she got a cuff back. Get the beats. Drop the battle, now we black. It's got a beat. She not a lesbian for peace. She turned lesbian. Push your feet. Push your feet. I'm capital P. I might be president. Now president. Push your feet. to head out for the airport as y'all could see i finished packing i have my two suitcases and my telfer on my bed i'm um, about to fly to va first hair and lashes are getting done there as y'all can see i look pretty bare right now y'all know i would never go on vacation like this like it's nothing wrong with it but i mean my hair do look done but no lashes no lashes so yeah no maintenance today but we are heading out to va which i will show you so yeah i just wanted to give you guys my 3 a.m. update. So, next time I see y'all, I probably will be when it's time to do lashes. Hey, y'all. We have officially made it to VA. I'm with my bestie girl. Hey, y'all. We is at our spot, y'all. This has been our spot for years. This is the best seafood place in Virginia, hands down. Don't argue with me. Argue with your man. We got drinks. I don't know what I got. I forgot already. Maya got this big old fish bowl. I got that last time. Yes. 
It was good, but we waiting on our food. Y'all can't wait to eat. I'm gonna put y'all on to something y'all ain't never been put on to before. No, me and Maya got some mess to catch up on, so yeah. All right, y'all, get into the seafood, boy. It might not look too appealing, but let me tell you, these noodles, Maya put me on to the noodles a long time ago. I got mussels, which I know, don't knock it till you try it. Mussel shrimp. It's some eggs in here, some sausage, some crab legs, some potatoes, some corn. All this for 30 bucks, boo. What you get? Um, I got them crabs, them noodles, some eggs, that sausage. I should have added corn. Why did I add no corn? There is corn in there. Is, it is? It okay, no matter. Use your ass extra though. I don't got no corn in here. You should do. Where? My ass corn in there. I need these noodles. I'm on these noodles. Yeah. Should I pour it out? Yeah. This thing is heavy. This is goofy. <laughs> <laughs> it's goofy. Oh my god, it's hot too. Like my hands is burning touching the bag. This is too hot to eat. We about to eat y'all, catch up on tea. Y'all know I ain't seen my girl so much, so it's a lot of shit to talk. Yes. So, I'll hit y'all a little bit later. Maybe on drink number two. We'll talk to y'all on drink number two. Yeah. I got, um, hold on. I'm gonna tell you what I'm drinking. Tell you something about the shot out. I wish. <laughs> I need that. I'm drinking an Ocean Breeze. It got vodka, blue curacao, peach snaps, and Sprite. Sometimes chug, keep... chug, 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 Sometimes chug, I chug, keep chug, up. chug, chug. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my soul. It so great. She lied. <laughs> dangerously. Oh, if I was Beyonce. <laughs> on my soul. I'm gonna start saying that on my soul. I gotta get my um, stamina up with this drinking. Get your what? Stamina. <laughs> <laughs> Should be turned up like this off of one little thing. Ooh, yeah. this is that song. You laugh. You ready? <clears throat> yeah. Love the flower box. I'm trying to get in nature. No disrespect, baby. Bread. I gotta keep the family fed. My girl all in my ear screaming, spend some time. I promise I'll be here when I can get some time. Hey, y'all. I'm probably like the worst vlogger ever. I don't know. I just haven't been feeling picking this camera up. But today is the last day of New York prep. We leave tomorrow afternoon to go to New York. It's literally only an hour flight if that. Um, we really could have took like a bus or something. But the flight was cheap. And that's why we chose New York. So, yeah. Today is toes in here. That's why I got this bonnet on. Because I ain't got nothing but my, uh, my gel braids underneath this bonnet. Yeah, I didn't feel like doing the wash, the blow dry. Like, the braids is fine. I'm to go get Maya and then we're gonna head to the nail shop and then we're gonna chill at Maya house for a little bit and then go to get our hair done. I have my lashes done. I don't know y'all. I feel like I have a hard time figuring out what lashes like fit my eyes. Like my, my lashes never have like a pattern if that makes sense. Like y'all know how cat I be like short to long. Like I, I don't know maybe I be tripping but they never have like a pattern or they just it just look like a bunch of lashes hopefully like once i get my hair done i'll be like okay like maybe i could do but right now i don't know i probably stopped by a wawa and give me a coffee the east coast girlies no the east coast girlies know about that wawa and get my day started last day of maintenance like this maintenance has been dragging out entirely too long i'm i know y'all probably ready to get over it i'm ready to get it over with like let's handle this right here right now Hey 
Hey y'all, so I know I never updated y'all, but this is going to be real quick, real fast. I know this started off as a prepare with me for New York type of video, but we're going to go ahead and add the New York vlog into this because my maintenance is over. I don't really enjoy my lashes. I don't really enjoy my hair. Like, I'm just, it, it looks good with the band on. I'm literally keeping a band on this entire trip, but. I'm not going to let it get the worst of me though. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to enjoy myself. Thank God I really don't have like no dressing up outfits. Because the headband would have. Like I'm literally keeping this headband on the entire time. Like entire time. The hair was cute though. A little deep wave. So I'm just going to bring y'all along to New York in this vlog. This is just going to be one whole vlog. Like everything I'm doing while I'm in VA in New York prepping is all going to go in one vlog. And we're just going to make it like a random collective type of vlog. Because things are not going as planned like. Everything that could could go wrong, oh, I just fell down shit. Everything that could go wrong has went wrong. Our hotel is. <gasps> Why'd I do that? Bye. What could would it be if I knew how you felt about me? It could have been right, but I was wrong. Only think about you and you alone. Part of me that. <laughs> We don't dream about, don't think about what we could have been No, I'm holding again, cause I know in the end You dream about, I think about what we could have been We could have been, we could have been Remember, remember the night in Miami First time you put your arms around me, I'm up, I'm in this Thinking about you isn't helping. This is like my tin flash, y'all. I do not know. It could have been right, but I was wrong. I only think about you when I'm wrong. Only. Hey, y'all. I know it's been almost like two weeks, and I'm finally coming back in to just explain what happened that I didn't put in here or. What this vlog even was because i know it was just so random i mean it kind of did go in order but a lot of things happened behind the scenes that y'all didn't see in the beginning i think you no know, it was prepping prep went fine i couldn't get my lashes done so i need my lashes done by somebody in va keep that in mind so i flew to va everything was fine i was trying to get a rental car because one thing i can't do is go to my hometown without a car because y'all know i'll be with my family and stuff and sometimes some if you know, you know. I need I needed a rental car. So I got on Turo. That's where I got my last rental car from. And I was only going to get it for three days. One, two, three. Um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. The days I had like my hair appointment, my lash appointment. So I could just drive myself around and I didn't have to worry about it. The total was like $300. Okay, cool. I go to the checkout screen. It went from $300 to $980 bucks for three days because of the young driver's fee, um, insurance, all that stuff they add in there. So now I went on Priceline and looked at, I don't, I don't even know what it's called, like the rental car place you get from the airport and they was charging an extra $100 a day for a young driver's fee. So no matter what, I was gonna be paying like a band for a rental car for three days, which is insane. So I said, you know what, I might as well just Uber. That's gonna be way cheaper anyway. First mistake. Um, next time, I don't care, I will pay that $900. Who is blowing me up? Rental car, didn't get. Okay, cool. I had my lash appointment. So I Ubered to my lash point. My phone's at 2.30. I got that like 2.25-ish. As I'm standing outside the shop, the door is locked. I guess nobody was working that day. Um, it was like 30 degrees outside. I'm standing outside the shop. Nobody was working that day. As I'm outside, she texts me and say, can I come at 2.40? Because she's running behind. So I'm already standing outside. I'm just standing outside. She didn't come in like till 2.45. So I was outside for 20 minutes just standing there because I decided not to get a rental car. And I was in the middle of nowhere. I didn't know where I was. My lash appointment. I'm going to show y'all right here how my lashes came out and why I didn't really like them. The girl was so sweet and I felt so bad. But um, they weren't really that bad. But I just asked for cat eye and I didn't get cat eye. If you know about lashes, you know that's not cat eye. So that's kind of why I was just like, mm. And then I just feel like a lot of times 
it's hard for lash techs to like i feel like a lot of lash techs don't really pay attention to your eye shape and see what's gonna match they just okay let's set these on boom and it just i feel like it didn't really fit my eye if that makes sense so i wasn't really tripping about that though because i was like okay once i get my hair done the lashes ain't even gonna be all that noticeable it's only been a week and the lashes is out as y'all can see so next day was my hair appointment i'm gonna put a picture of that on the screen um if y'all know me y'all know i stay with my hair late i stay with my hair late like my hairstylist she gets down she don't play so this just kind of threw me a little bit because i'm not used to my hair looking like this the wig was just way too far back the edges speak for themselves and it just didn't give so i'm like you know what now i'm irritated but i'm not gonna let this ruin my new york trip because i haven't even gotten to new york at this point so i'm like i'm still a little irritated but i'm like i'm, I'm really trying not to let it get to me because once your hair and lashes is ugly go home <laughs> go home right um, I just kept my headband on the whole time. I still have the same wig on because y'all know. I, and oh, let me also add, I could not fix it because I literally had to leave for New York the next day. And first of all, it's too far back. So um, while I was getting my hair done, she didn't have any mirrors, anything I could look at. Like, I'm used to my stylist. She'd be like, um, is this good? Like, before she glue it down, she asked me, is the placement good? Before she do edges, how you want your edges? Like, she asked me all those questions. So that's what I'm used to. The girl who I was getting my hair done, but I didn't have a mirror, didn't have nothing. So when she was done, it was like, it's done. If I would have asked her to fix it, she would have to take the whole wig off, put it back on like the it was it was just i was like you know what whatever i could not fix it myself because y'all know i don't do no damn hair but maybe this is my sign i should start to learn um next day we had to go to new york we got to new york flight was good everything was good we get to the hotel first of all the hotel i already got bad vibes before i even walked through the door of the lobby like the lobby was as big as my room if that like it was just a desk and that's it um it was okay we get upstairs we get to the hotel room. I had to pee so bad. I run to the bathroom. Why is there piss in the toilet of the bathroom? When we first get to the room. <sighs> Alright. I'm irritated at this point. Because I just spent my, my money on this. And I'm irritated. So I'm like, you know what? Why is there stains on the sheets? Stains on the sheets. Bugs in the shower. It was a whole bunch of gnats flying around in the shower. And I know the girlies say New York is dirty. But I just, I wasn't really expecting all that. We left the hotel, we went out to eat, but we changed clothes, my outfit ripped, I was so pissed. I'm like, nothing is going right. Um, we left the hotel to go get dinner. Dinner was fine, I guess, but um, as we had dinner, I'm looking for more hotels we can stay at. Literally, everything is booked that night, so we had no choice but to stay at that hotel for one night. So that's what we had to do, but I booked something for the next day so we could leave and only have to stay there one day. Um, the hotel that we left from didn't give us a full refund. But they gave us something, so whatever. So I had to pay for another hotel that was like almost a hundred, not a hundred. That was almost a thousand dollars in my pocket that I was not expecting to spend. It wasn't really too bad after that. I just think like New York is not for me. Y'all know, like I don't even give that type of vibe. But my thing is, I think I'm like, why'd you go? Just don't fucking go to uh, places like that. But my thing is, I'm trying to travel all 50 states before I turn 25. So the boring ones, the fun ones, the turnt ones, the lame ones, all of them, I'm hitting all 50 states. I just want to be able to say, I travel all 50 states before I turn 25. So um, I don't regret going. I, I'm glad I went, got my experience, whatever. Came back, on the flight back. We at the airport, waiting on our baggage claim to come out. Um, I see mine going all the way around. It's about to go back inside. I'm like, whatever, I'll just get it when it come back out. And then the machine stops. The, the baggage claim machine, it stops. I'm like, okay, let me just go get my bag. It was already inside at this point. If you if you can't visualize it, I'm sorry. It was My bag was inside, so I couldn't see it on the outside. Next thing you know, as I'm walking up to it, the dude who works at the baggage claim, I, don't, I couldn't even see his face, but whoever was like, you know, loading the bags on, he pushed my bag out, fell on the ground, bust open like it. My uh, suitcase on the top is like a big dent and it's like a, uh, it's open. Like you could see my clothes on the inside. My, my suitcase had a whole bunch of black marks on it, probably because of him throwing it. And I know, you know, suitcases is just like, okay, you got to keep it, keep going back and buying more. But like, that really pissed me off because I'm already at my last straw at this point. I'm already on my last straw. I'm already irritated. And then after that, I just wanted to go home. So I tried to change my flight. Couldn't. Unless I wanted to pay $500. So I just thugged it out. I was just so irritated. I just didn't want to. I just wanted to go home. And that's kind of why my mood was kind of blown. Like, it all started when I first got to Virginia. Everything that could have went wrong went wrong. And I really feel like I'm missing something, y'all. I really feel like I'm missing something. Um, New York is like a 6 out of 10 for me. It's not like bad, bad, but I know some people love it, some people hate it. I personally, I'm going to just let y'all know this now. 
I don't listen to anybody's opinions anymore because just because I don't like something doesn't mean you don't like it. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean I'm going to like it. So I'm always going to go see something for myself before I listen to what somebody else has to say. Because we're all different. We all like different things. We all do different things. Like just because you don't like it don't mean I'm not going to like it. Just because I didn't like it don't mean you is not going to love it. I just want to give y'all the rundown of why I was so irritated, why everything went left, what happened. Just in case it wasn't explained in the video, if it was that's just a little recap so yeah i'm so glad to be home i'm so glad to get back to yeah but i'm not gonna let that stop me from traveling i'm still in my travel bag one bad trip is not the end of the world you know what i'm saying so i just want to come up on here and explain give y'all an outro because i am dipping on this video and yeah i don't want to say i hope you guys enjoyed because this was very much like a little too much even for me so yeah i will see you guys in the next video